Well guys, here we are, 35 gallon tank. We got them all stocked in here, all the corals. We added the two clownfish as well. Um, I guess we'll start here on the right hand side and we'll start going through some of the corals here and just seeing some of the names and looking at a closer look at them. Here we have a large uh, colony of some Ganipora coral. Nice vibrant green along with some like purpley tinge to it. Looking uh, quite happy and extended and it's only been in the tank now for about maybe about a half an hour and acclimating for about a half an hour as well. Here are some uh, fancy mushrooms, some green vibrant green fancy mushrooms that we picked up as well. Some green zoas, some vibrant green zoas mixed with a little bit of like purplish. We got a Kenya tree here that's been fragging itself uh, recently. Some Montipora, green Montipora and like a red Montipora. We've got these zoas right here. I'm really impressed with these red zoas with the like uh, ice on the inside, nice white color. We've got um, this uh, frog spawn right here as well, this green guy, a couple of heads on it, doing pretty happy. And we've got a few frags here, some red monty, some green monty, uh, some more zoas, some acro there growing on the bottom of that uh, piece of rock right there. Uh, there was a colony on it, but I snipped it off and that's what's uh, been growing. The colony that was on it is right there, is now I guess a large frag. Uh, where are we here? We've got the Kenya tree. We got those uh, the green guys in the back there. Those are called uh, organ organ pipe corals. It's like a GSP kind of a thing. They're like a yellowy green. We got these uh, button corals here. They're like a left is like a fluffy nice orange, and we got like a nice red orange on the right as well. Here are these nice zoas I was talking about. They're like a purpley pink on the inside with like a green little like frost on it on the outside perimeter. Uh, there's these other zoas right here. They're uh, like a red with like a white uh, yellowy frost on the inside as well. There's tons of polyps on this colony here. I'm just slowly waiting for them to open up. Uh, let's work our way over a bit. We got some uh, GSP green star polyps right here. Nice and vibrant. Slowly making its way out. Uh, extending the polyps. Behind that again we got some more uh, looks like GSP pipe organ coral. Pipe organ. Again uh, another grass looking type of coral that looks like GSP some uh, more zoa colony a nice little orange and brown color some acro frag right there again that came off of that uh, base some Flavia, Montipora, Kenya some more uh, pipe organ frags right here just hanging out here's this nice bad boy brain nice blue and green purpley color we got this other one beside it as well that's uh nice and green and purpley blue as well these other two brains pretty nice I'm really happy with these two red kinda looking ones uh, the back there has some green red mixed up and this one has some like blue and beige white with red as well these other colony of co uh, zoas right here nice pinky red very happy with these guys can't wait for those ones to open up probably frag some of those some more zoas right here we got like a pinky orange middle with like a green rim very uh, happy with those ones as well. They're color coloring up quite nicely. A nice uh, red orangey blasto. Can't wait for these guys to start uh, growing up a bit more and start uh, spreading. Some green blasto corals right here. We got the clownfish pair right here. Just been introduced to the tank about half an hour ago and they already been making their way over to the left side of the tank with this bubble tip anemone here like a white uh, greeny yellow bubble tip anemone. And they've been hanging out this bubble coral, which is uh, acting as their anemone right now. You can see here we got the uh, green torch coral as well. Another uh, type of brain here. There's greeny uh, brain uh, button coral type of coral, which is doing quite well. Is nice, guys. Quite well is quite nice as well. So, guys, there it is. The 135 gallon. All the corals are now acclimated to the tank. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you guys learned something along the way. Maybe seen some new corals or uh, been thinking about which corals to get lately for your tank. And hopefully these guys get you inspired to see which ones you guys like and maybe learn some names and whatnot. So there it is guys, side view. I love this side view. Four foot long, 35 gallon frag tank. And uh, well. We got this uh, carpet anemone here as well. Might as well show you guys this carpet anemone. It's like a greeny blue color. 
nothing uh, too crazy popping for coloration but it is pretty happy it's been sitting in this basket now for a little bit so just maintain it in here so let's go take a peek at the 125 and see how that tanks doing let's go look at it from the front here we are guys the 125 built into the wall you know what it is the typical Leo Potzel tank and uh, this thing's just too crowded to basically place much more corals in here I've got tons of growth I've sold quite some already the last few weeks and uh, just trying to make some room some more room for some new corals and whatever just have fun with the hobby get some things I never had before and uh, you know go from there Well guys, it's 2016, Leo Potzel TV has some uh, great upcoming events that I'm looking forward to uh, sharing with you guys, so definitely don't go anywhere. I want to uh, get you guys involved, and uh, 2016 is going to be a great year guys.